You have lost. The circle is complete. No, Bella, no! <laughs> the Nidus, source of all my powers, has split into five pieces. Bella is seeking them too, but we have already repossessed three parts. Unless every fragment is regained, I shall eventually weaken and die. They can only be seen in reflection. Find the last two pieces of the Nidus and bring them to me. Listen, that's Big Ben. So we're in London, Victorian London. Underneath London? Yes, that's it. We must be in one of those big sewers under the city. I think I want to go home. Well, don't be in the knees. Sewers are supposed to be healthy. If you don't get cholera or typhoid or... Shh. Listen. What? Well, I heard something. Roscoe? Is that you? Hello, Roscoe. Are you there? If they are coming this way, ah, they are only children. We'll seize them and throw them in the Thames. No. Let me dispose of them. Watch. Phil, look. There's writing on it. What's it say? Hang on. Walk towards the outlet. Take the first cross shaft to the right. It's a set of directions. Look, it's from Roscoe. Maybe he's waiting for us. Well, which way's the outlet then? Well, it's got to be downstream, hasn't it? This way. Did you see that swimmer? She is indeed a mighty sorceress. Highness. May you pluck out our hearts if we ever doubt your powers again. Paper boats are nothing. But the power of magic alone will not overcome the forces arrayed against us. That is why we must help each other. Great one, we pledge ourselves to your service. If you help me enter the tower, I will destroy all who stand in your way. And it is well that you should lead us. For is it not written that the great diamond of Kohinoor is lucky for women, but brings misfortune upon men? That is true. Highness, if we recover the Kohinoor with your help, then you may have the rest of the riches. I am only interested in one small bauble, but that I must have if I am to overcome Rothko in my final battle. The children spoke that name. Who is this Rothko? My eternal enemy. And he is here somewhere. I have no doubt of it. Then is he too a sorcerer? A charlatan. A cheap mountebank. Without those children, his familiars, I would have already entombed him for eternity. But this time, I have a plan that will deceive them all. Come, my friends. As I thought your blood has been discovered, someone is waiting for you. Just leap to us. No. He may have accomplices. Let me find out what he knows. He might be more used to us alive. Wait here. <laughs> Rothko's face, this fool will lead the children a merry dance. Oh, oh Lord, who's that? Upon my soul! What are you doing here, my good woman? I might ask the same of you. Scared me off to death, you done lurking there like Jack the Ripper. Suppose I'd had one of me turns. 
prone, are you? Oh, I'll get these spasms in me heart. Me legs goes blue. Horrible. Yeah, once a scotch legs goes blue, is a sure sign you're ready for the old cold meat box. Come, come, the legs ain't hardly the vitals, madam. They are for a mudlark, gov. Got to do a lot of ball and chalking, see? Oh, oh. Oh, ho. Mudlark, are we? Yeah. Might I inquire if you comes here often in the way of business? Of course I do. You've got a city of London up there, Gov. I find half a thought there last Christmas. You wouldn't, I suppose, have noticed any persons of a horiental complication hanging about? Nah, not down here, Gov. You get your orientals more over Bethnal Greenway. Why yours? Suffice it to say, I am not down here for the hair. Didn't think you was. <laughs> <coughs> Do you know where we are? That in a sewer. Quite so. But where we are right now, right above this very spot, stands the Tower of London. Go on. Tell me more. Enough said. Nods as good as a wink to a blind horse, eh? Danny, you're all on your own, are you? That's funny. My nose. I think it's different. Well, that's true enough. Still can't help the way we're born, can we? No, I mean, it's changed. Something's happened to it. This ain't the fizzle I've had for 40 years. Must have seen this tunnel. Here, come on, Gov. You need to drop a finger and thumb. Finger and thumb? Well, they haven't changed. A rumpty tum. Many of poor souls gone balmy in the bonds down here. I reckon it's pressure on the lug holes. Lug holes? Come on, have a little drink before go. It's very kind, but it's more than my life's worth. Just a drop and it'll set you up. The very smell of liquor turns Mrs Shade right into a raging lion. Yes, not the sight to encourage. Drink it down, your old trouble and strife's not gonna know. Oh, yes, she would. Mrs Shadrack is bringing me a flask of rabbit broth at 7 p.m. You know, very nice. She'll be here very shortly. She prides herself on being punctured. All right, then, Gov. I better be getting on my way. Good hunting. Thank you. Au reservoir. This is it. What? Here? Look, no more directions. This must be it. There's no point staying around here. I mean, the Nidus has got to reflect in something, and it's too dark down here. We may as well take a look all the same. It's a waste of time, and I'm fed up. We're all fed up, Terry. My feet are soaking, and this stupid dress doesn't help. Look, I'll take the top end by the arch. Helen, you can stay here, and you can go down there, Terry, all right? Oh, and you'll get the wettest bit. He is waiting for you. To find out no more. He keeps his tongue on a tight rein. But he will confide in his precious wife. Leave it to me. Shadrach? Shadrach, do you hear me? Goodness, what am I doing here? I must get home and fetch Shadrach his supper. Did you see that, Rangi? This witch can steal a body from its soul. There's nothing up there. No, down there. You know what I've just thought? Maybe Rothko didn't send that message. We couldn't have. Why not? Because sometimes he doesn't know who he is, does he? Not until we recognize him. So? Well, don't you see? That message was signed Rothko, his real name. So, if it wasn't Rothko who sent it? Bella! Exactly. There's no one else it could be. Shadrach! Shadrach! Where are you? Over here, my Blossom. There you are. Ugh. Why are you hiding here, Shadrach? I'm not hiding, my love. I'm maintaining observation. Upon what? I see nothing interesting to observe. Not at the moment, possibly. But before this night is out... Uh, tell me, Acacia, do you notice anything different about me? Different? Have I changed in any way? My face, for instance, is it at all familiar to you? You've had that face give or take a wrinkle or two since the day we married. Oh, you set my mind at ease. I could have sworn that this brow, this nose and chin were strangers to me. Come to think of it, your friendly features seem to have undergone a shift of emphasis. <laughs> it is obviously the noxious effect of the effluent upon my senses. I wish you'd give up this line of work, Shadrach. Life would be so much easier if you were a Coleman. I was a Coleman, as you well know, Acacia, my love, and had I remained such, I would not now be on the brink of my greatest triumph. By tomorrow, I shall have earned the gratitude of the nation. The name of T.J. Shadrach will resound throughout the land. I don't know what you're talking about sometimes, I'm sure. Remember when Wackett and Wreckett, the architects, 
invited me to investigate the theft of their foreman's silver half-hunter watch. Well, you found it, of course. I did not, of course, but no matter. The theft of the watch was intended to cover the real motive for the burglary. My lightning mental processes perceived that immediately. Brilliant, my pet. Go on. I discovered the true motive. To wit, the plans of this particular sewer were missing from an old file in Wackett and Wreckett's office. Well, their devilish plan became clear at once, didn't it? Only to you, my precious. Quite so, my precious. This sewer, you see, runs beneath the dungeons of the Wakefield Tower, where the Crown Jewels is kept. Do you catch my drift, Acacia? Not yet, my pet. You've heard of the Bombay Bandicoots? You know I can't abide football. The Bombay Bandicoots are a ruthless band of Indian thuggies who have sworn to return the Kohinoor diamond to India, where they say it rightfully belongs. The cheap. I should think the Queen would have something to say to that. Her Majesty does not know, Acacia. It's only old T.J. Shadrach who has been perspicacious enough to put the two and the two together. Well, you always were good at figures, Shadrach. It's what's known in my profession as circumstantial evidence, my dear. And it all points to that there wall. I'll wager a million to a bit of dirt. That's where they'll enter the tower. Suppose, Shadrach, you are wrong. How long do you propose sitting here in this disgusting place waiting for these bandy things? Bandicoots, my love. A bandicoot is an Indian rat. I learnt that in Tutin Library. I am not going to bring you your supper here every night, you know. No need, my pet. The bandicoots must strike tonight. Why tonight in particular? Because tomorrow is the state opening of Parliament. At this very moment, all the orbs and jewels and scepters and things are out for polishing. Out of the strong room, which is impregnable, and in the jewel room, which is not. Which is why the bandicoots must make their move tonight while the jewels is still out. Oh. Who else knows about this plan, my precious? Keisha, you know that T.J. Shedrick always works alone. Alone? What have we here? Shadrach, drink your rabbit broth before it gets cold. Hmm. I have deduced with incredulous perspicaciousness that this simple wrapper once contained modelling clay. How can you tell? It says so. One does sticks, Phillips modelling clay, fruppence. As I thought. Look at this acacia. They have chiselled out all the mortar from between the bricks and replaced it with modelling clay. Yes. Cleverly camouflaged with curry powder. <laughs> Devilish clever, these Orientals, but T.J. Shadrach will prove more than a match for them. Shadrach, if you do not drink your broth this instant, I shall get extremely cross. Oh, I am sorry, my dear. How very kind of you. Quite delightful. You know, Makisha, you're the most wonderful rabbit that any wife, uh, man... He is sleeping. He cannot interfere with our plans now. Quick, my friends, the wall! somewhere. Sergeant! What are you doing? Uh, I was just admiring the royal wealth, Sergeant Major. No, you're standing about here gawping. You've heard, have you? Heard what, Sergeant Major? Uh. 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 Oh! Her Majesty wants the jewels taken out clean left here so that she can choose what she's going to wear tomorrow. What do you think about that? Left out here? Are we getting reinforcements? No, we ain't. So you better be on your toes, right? Right, Sergeant Major. Don't want him to go missing, do we, eh? <laughs> or eggs would roll. Yes, Sergeant Major. I shall keep a sharp lookout for anything untoward. Outside the door, Sergeant. Your guard outside the door. Oh, we must find Rothko soon. We seem to have been here hours already. There's hundreds of miles of these sewers. Oh, he can't be far off. He never is. Let's try this way. Hurry now. Shh. 
Let silence reign. Oh, it's a body. It's Rothko. Rothko, wake up. Wake up. Oh, he's out to the wide. He's not sleepy either. Burn a feather under his nose. What? That's what my gran says. You got a feather? I have. You reckon this will work? My gran says it does. Come on, Rothko. Snap out of it. Keisha, my turtle dove. Your elbow is sticking right in my brickwork. Who are you? Oh, come on, Rothko. You know who we are. By the Lord Harry, I must have nodded off. Oof, my word, I am tired. Oh, look, he's off again. Mm. Bellor must have done it. I release you from Bellor. I command you to wake up. Rothko. Why do you call me Rothko, young man? My name is Shadrach. Your name is Rothko. I should know my own name. I am the T.J. Shadrach of Tooting Beck. Confidential inquiries conducted in the strictest confidence. Are you a detective, then? Word wild private investigations are my speciality, especially in the Tooting area. Ah, so that's why you're dressed like Sherlock Holmes. Do not speak that name! Do not mention that name in my presence! That name gives me the oopizootics. Why? It's not a real detective, is he? Well spoken, young sir. He is no more than a copycat, a feeble facsimile of me. Why, he nicked my deer stalker, he nicked my calabash, not to mention my nose. If it is my nose. But you are Rothko. Why can't you remember? Look at that. Why, the scoundrels, the nefarious, perfidious dogs. They must have nipped through while I was taking 40 winks. Well, I'll show them. I'll show them that T.J. Shadrick can't be beat that easy. We'll play this game to the death. Oh, come on, we'd better follow him. <laughs> See, there is the great diamond of Kohinoor. Beautiful, is it not? It is like ice with fire in his heart. Take every jewel. I wish to inspect them at my leisure. Yeah. Break the gems from their settings. Hide quickly. Rothko. My friends, we've delayed long enough. Fill the bag and let us go at once. These stones are firmly set, Highness. Allow us but a few minutes. I tell you, take everything. I must rest. Now listen, I'll hold them at bay while you go fetch the tower's guards. And hurry, this could be a desperate business. All right, Rothko. Rothko. The game's up. Now raise your hands and turn around slowly. And no false moves. I hold a bronze medal for pistol shooting. Get him. I warn you. I could have sworn I had one. Infidel! Go. Stop calling me Rothko. Guard them well, Sergeant Major. They are prisoners of Her Britannic Majesty and slippery customers to boot. Shadrach, 
You will live to rue the day you cross the Bombay bandicoots. <laughs> False promises, butter no parsnips. What does that mean? Away with them, Sergeant Major. Sir, to the dungeon. Uh, left, right, left. Curse you. You will be on our death list. We never forget an enemy. March on, bandicoot. Curse left, you. Right, Curse all you will, Dacoit. There's a medal in this for me. You know what I think? The Nidus. Right, let's see. Wow, it must be in here. How do I look? The Nidus, it's in the crown. I deny you the Nidus. Strength at last! She's got the full fragment. <laughs> Who's that? <sighs> Go on, Helen. Use the power of the Nidus to turn the key. I can't. It's not working. You're not concentrating. That's why Rothko said you have to focus the power of the Nidus. Shadrach, ma'am. Your most humble and royal servant. T.J. Shadrach? Uh, stands for Thomas Jethro, ma'am. Uh, T.J., that is. And why are you disturbing the Queen's peace with this hullabaloo? I thought I saw an intruder come this way, ma'am. An intruder? Yes, a woman dressed in black. There was an attempt to steal some of Your Majesty's crown jewels. We are not amused, Shadrach. No, ma'am. Of course, ma'am. Uh, shall I call your guard? There is no need to summon our guard. We are simply here to try on a few of our crowns. Quite, ma'am. Of course, ma'am. Haven't I seen you somewhere? child. Everything has stopped and so have you. But Rothko and I, we exist outside time, do we not, Rothko? I deny you the Nidus. One, two, three. <laughs> Here. But that was you. Another of Bellor's tricks. Is he all right? Yes, he's just coming round. Uh, the necklace. It's gone. Yes, I'm afraid Bellor took it. So so now he'd lost four pieces of the Nidus. But if you fail next time, the whole power of the Nidus will be lost. Oh, never mind. Cheer up. There's still a chance. Follow Bellor through time and show her what's what. Go on, off with you.
Thank you.